Let's take a look at customizing the panels and saving a new workspace in Photoshop. If you look at your window menu and choose workspace, you'll notice I'm in the default essentials, which is preferred for me, but I'm going to customize how it's displayed. Whenever I'm doing web mockups or mobile mockups, I choose typography. I have my character and paragraph panels, styles, which were added in the last version, layers. If you're curious what's new in this version, you could choose Window Workspace What's New, and you'll see improvements or additions to every one of these features. If I come back to Window Workspace Essentials, there's a couple things you could do with panels. You can make them float. So if I grab the word color and drag to the middle of my screen, it's now technically a floating panel. Years ago, these were called palettes, but today Adobe calls them panels. If I want it back where it started, I put it back on top of swatches until it turns blue. But if I've pulled out a few panels and I'm not able to locate anything, I watch some of my students do this and they put them on top of one another or lose track where they are, and I call them window draggers. They're constantly moving windows to get them out of their way, but then they spend a lot of their time looking for them. If you keep your panels in the same order and in the same spot, you don't have to think about where they are, you just will naturally go to them. So I'm going to go to Window Workspace and Reset Essentials. And let's build Kelly's favorite workspace. I rarely use swatches, but when doing mockups, I might. So swatches would be a good part to have in a mobile or mockup or device workspace. You can make your own. But for now, I'm going to double click the word color to collapse it. This adjustments panel, it's rare for me to use, but I do use styles on occasion. However, not often enough to leave it open, so I'll double click on styles to collapse that. My primary two panels that I heavily use are layers and history. In fact, history is all of my undos, and if I've set my preferences properly, I should have 40. And I was working on this image before I started recording, so you'll see all the 20 things I did. 20 is the default number of undos. I like to put history in with layers so it's open and nice and long. I quite frequently use channels as well and paths on occasion. So I basically build one big honkin' panel with layers, channels, paths, and history, and I double-click on styles when I need them and double-click on color when I need it. The reason I don't use adjustments that often is because everything I can get from adjustments, I usually grab from the bottom of my layers panel. And I do love some actions, and properties is very helpful. But I like properties in another column. And if I need actions, I'll choose Window Actions, and it adds to that second column. But I leave these at small icons so I can open and close them when I need them. And this is the Kelly Favorite Workspace. So now it's time to go to Window, Workspace, and create a new workspace. And I'll call this Kelly. Insert your name here. Now if I've customized menus by giving them different colors or hidden or shown things, I could include menus in that. Or if I've assigned my own keyboard shortcuts through Edit Keyboard Shortcuts, for example, I do like to assign a keyboard shortcut to Unchart Mask, what I use to add detail when I increase the resolution of low-res images, or what I use after I scan to improve detail. Unchart Mask is a filter that doesn't have a shortcut, so I can assign my own. But I'm using all the factory settings right now, so I don't need to include keyboard shortcuts or menus, so it doesn't matter whether they're off or on. When I hit Save, now the Kelly workspace is available. So I can switch to Essentials, and if Essentials doesn't change, Window, Workspace, Reset Essentials. Now I'm at the factory settings or the out of the box, well there is no box anymore, out of the cloud factory install settings, and I can go to Kelly to get my favorite panel arrangements. So this has been 
building your own workspace and saving it. And I see that there are a few built-in workspaces that I use frequently, like typography and painting are two handy ones when I switch tasks. See if you can find your favorite panels and create a workspace of your own through Window Workspace, New Workspace.